Okay, so most of you probably already heard about the news with DaVinci Resolve being able to handle ProRes RAW. The Nikon Z8, you are able to shoot internal ProRes RAW and obviously I haven't been able to test that out, but now we're able to edit ProRes RAW inside DaVinci Resolve natively. But in this video, I'm gonna compare some of these shots shooting in ProRes RAW with the regular 10-bit 4K and then also 4.1K Nikon RAW. And then we're just gonna see which one is gonna basically give us a better looking image. Now I know from shooting on the Nikon Z8 for over a year now, the 10-bit file looks very nice. It's soft. Some of the shots that when I do shoot in the N RAW, um, the file kind of breaks up a little bit. And I kind of came up with the conclusion that you need a lot of light if you are shooting in the Nikon raw file in the 4.1k or in any other resolution i just feel like there's a lot of artifacts that are happening that might not be visible to some people but i've noticed that shooting with this file over the following year so we're going to do a few quick tests with the light and then without this light we're going to keep the backlight on uh, and just, we're going to see what kind of grain we're going to be getting in the image and which file is going to look a lot cleaner. So right now you guys are watching the regular 4K 10-bit file. Okay, so conclusion, um, I wasn't expecting the ProRes RAW image to look better than the Nikon RAW. ProRes RAW actually looks very good. I would say it's probably one of the best files to record in on this camera. The colors look a little bit more filmic. They look a little bit more natural. Uh, the greens were popping out. The blues were popping out a little bit better, in my opinion. Also, if you take a look at the trees, the background, it's almost like something's going on with the sensor. It, it just makes it look a little bit more softer, a little bit more filmic. Now, I'm not too sure if it's just the way it was shot or the way I'm coloring it, but in my opinion, it just looks better than the Nikon RAW and then obviously better than the H.265 10-bit. Uh, also, one thing I noticed is that it does something with the lens correction. If you take a look at the other codecs that I filmed in H.265 and the Apple ProRes 422, uh, and then we switch it to the uh, ProRes RAW, it like flattens out the lens correction, doesn't have any concave going around the edges. It makes the image look a little bit more flatter. Uh, and then also the low light stuff, I wouldn't really consider it low light just without the light. Color shift is a little bit different. I think it tends to be a little bit more green. Same with the Nikon RAW. Also, one thing that I like about shooting in ProRes RAW is that we can actually change our settings in the RAW tab in DaVinci Resolve. And we can't do that in Nikon RAW, ProRes RAW. We can actually change our ISO and change it to whatever kind of log format we want. Now, I'm not too sure if this is good if we want to be able to correct it with other cameras. Uh, Nikon RAW, you can't change your ISO stuff in Nikon RAW. You can only change it in ProRes RAW, which is absolutely amazing. But I absolutely love the ProRes RAW colors that are coming out of this. They look a little bit more filmic. The image looks a little bit more organic, I would say, if that's even possible. I'm not 100% sure, but 
this is just a quick little test, nothing crazy. Um, I was doing some low light tests, but I just didn't want to go too deep into that stuff because I already have a low light test on the Nikon Z8, just not in the ProRes RAW just yet. Quick little test shooting ProRes RAW on the Nikon Z8. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, we'll see you guys on the next video.